Franklin Luando is my name. Yet again, I'm here to make a presentation of a lecture on the FCO Accountants Tuition Center YouTube channel. I want to encourage you after watching this video to ask questions, the areas where you need more clarity or where you do not understand in the chat box. I also encourage you to make comments on the quality of the video, whether the video has been helpful or not. All the comments will be taken very serious, very seriously, and it will help us to improve the quality of our delivery. In today's video, we are going to look at the currency risk hedging. And this topic is relevant to financial management students under SCCA and also financial management students under CA 2.5 under Zika. Also, this topic is also relevant to students doing financial management under a degree in accountants or diploma in accountants. So for today, our focus will be on the number of techniques that can be used to hedge the foreign currency risk. The purpose is to ensure that we reduce this risk because the risk will impact negatively on the profitability of an organization. In some cases, there could be some gains as a result of hedging. And in some cases, there could be losses as a result of hedging. So we are going to look at three methods in this question. And that is using the forward exchange contract, also using the money market, money market, a hedging system, also using the lead payments. So first, I'm going to explain the forward exchange contract. Under the forward exchange contract, the business entity who enter into a contract with the bank and agree on the exchange rate to be used in the future at the date of the transaction. So the entity is protected where the exchange rate is adverse. It is protected because they still have to use the agreed exchange rate. But where the exchange rate is favorable, the entity is disadvantaged because they cannot take the exchange rate that is favorable. That is the forward, the forward exchange contract. Now we look at the money market. The money market, the money market, a hedging technique is used by both importers and exporters. Now, the most important thing to understand is if an entity is going to make a payment in the future, it has a liability. In order to hedge, it should create an asset by lending or depositing in the money market. There is the hedge there. If an entity is expecting to receive 
overseas currency. It has an asset. Therefore, it should create a liability by borrowing in the money market. Borrowing now in the money market. Get the money now. Convert it to the domestic currency and invest it in the domestic currency. When that money comes, it will come and settle the borrowed amount. Now, when we look at the lead payments, lead payments is an internal hedging techniques, which is different from the forward exchange contract and the money market. Those two are external the hedging system. Under the leading method of hedging is where an entity was expected to make a payment to the overseas a supplier in three months time. But now the exchange rate is favorable. So instead of waiting for three months, they can make a payment now because it is favorable. The exchange rate is favorable. But such an entity, it will incur an opportunity cost. And this opportunity cost is the lost interest, which should be incorporated when calculating the amount to be paid. So now we can look at this question uh, together. Trimpton, a UK company, has bought goods from a USA supply and must pay $4 million for them in three months' time. So the three months' time there is very important. Three months' time, that's when they are making a payment. Three months' time, they will be making a payment. The company's finance director wishes to hedge against foreign exchange risk. And the three methods which the company user considers will be, I've already explained that method, that method, that method. The following annual, the interests are quoted annually. The following annual interest rates and exchange rates are currently available. So I want to explain the quotation of foreign currency. When to divide and when to multiply. So here the spot, the quotation is one pound is equal to dollars. So means these amounts are in dollars. Those amounts are in dollars. So now the question is when do you multiply? to convert to domestic currency. So you multiply, very important concept, you multiply, when do you multiply? You multiply when the amount exposed to the risk, which is the $4 million, is not compatible to the exchange rate. But in this case, the amount exposed to the risk, which is $4 million, is compatible to the exchange rate because the exchange rates are in dollar and this amount is, is in dollar. In that case, you divide. You divide, divide to convert to the UK pound. I'm sure that explanation is okay. So we go to the first, we go to the first edging system, forward exchange rate. Forward exchange rate. The forward exchange rate there, I want to explain because 
in every situation, the bank must make a profit. So if the UK company wants to get the dollars, because in the UK, they don't use the dollars. So for them to make a payment, they should go to the bank and buy the dollars. So the bank should make a profit. Therefore, the UK company should give the bank a lot of pounds in order to get the, the dollars. So in this case, in three months time, the exchange rate will be this. So if you have to give a lot of a pounds to get the dollars, then you should divide with a lower exchange rate. So in this case, it will be 4 million. Divide by the lower rate there in three months time is 1.845. So we have dollars to dollars you divide because they are compatible, they are the same. So when you divide there, the pound that you need to buy, the dollars will be 2,168, 609, around the room. So when you are hedging using the forward exchange rate, it will cost us two million eight hundred and sixty eight thousand six hundred and nine. Now we go to the we go to the money market. Money market hedging first we have a liability. Now, we have a liability because we have to make a payment. So, create an asset. We are going to create an asset by lending, by lending in the money market. So how is it done? I'm going to make a simple illustration by a diagram. So we have the UK. Now, let me put the now here. The UK is trading with the USA. In three months' time, in three months' time, a UK company is going to make a payment of four million. So now the UK company needs to deposit it or lend in the money market in order to create an asset. But the amount to deposit on account should be lower than or smaller than 4 million because in three months' time it has to grow to 4 million. So we need to look at what is the lending interest in the USA. So we check here USA lending for three months is 7%. So 7% for three months. Now, since we are discounting, the amount that you get here, divide by 100 plus one. So divide by 100 plus one, we are going to have 1.017. That is, the amount to get here since we are discounting will be divided by 100. Now we are actually changing the interest rate to decimal point plus one as a means of discounting. So
So now you divide this discount. You divide into 4 million. That will give us three. 3 million, 931. Two zero four. So dollars. We need this amount to deposit in the money market, so that in three months' time, this amount will grow to four million, and will be able to pay the liability. But now, where do we get this money? This money, we should borrow in the UK. So we should borrow in the UK the pounds to buy the dollars to invest in the money market. So again, you need more pounds to buy these dollars to come and invest because the bank must make a profit. So now is the spot rate. So we go to the spot rate. The lower exchange rate is this. So at 1.8625. So when you divide, this will be in pounds. The pounds there will be 2 million, 2 million. One one zero seven one four. You need those pounds to buy the dollars and invest in the money market. And once you have invested in three months' time, the amount invested will grow to four million dollars, and that will be used to make a payment to settle the liability. So the money borrowed now here. In three months' time, it will also grow. So how much is borrowing in the UK? In the UK, borrowing for three months is 14.25. So multiply by three, divide by 12. Again, the answer you get, divide by 100 to change to decimal point, multiply by one because it will increase. So here you have one point zero three five six twenty five. So here you are going to multiply. When you multiply here, you are going to have two one eighty five nine. Zero eight. So to hedge using the money market, it will cost the UK company two million hundred and eighty-five thousand four nine zero eight pounds. That is hedging using the money market. Now we are going to look at. Uh, hedging using the lead, the lead payment. Now, if you check here, it is better to make a payment now because the exchange rate is favorable. Why? Because if you move to three months, the exchange rate has worsened because it has reduced. If you are dividing and then the exchange rate reduces, it means you are going to pay more. So why pay more when you can make a payment now under the lead payment? Because the exchange rate is favorable. So here we can make a payment. The exchange rate is favorable. We can use this part here. To make the calculation. So we have 
the amount that we need to pay is $4 million. This is lead. The lead payment. The lead payment here, we have the exchange rate is 1.8625. Because it's better than the exchange rate in month three. Now, if you pay now, there will be an opportunity cost of the interest lost. So the interest in the in the UK for three months is this figure. So which means we are going to lose interest there will be. divide by 100 plus one, the loss of interest there will be one, zero, two, seven, five. So this will be multiplied by four million. You convert using the exchange rate now because it's favorable, 1.86. To five. Now we are going to incorporate the interest lost. And this will give us two, two zero six seven one one. So using the lead payment, the pounds will be two million. 206,711 dollars. So now the question is, what is the cheapest method for Trampton ignore transaction costs, that is commission? So in this case, when you are hedging against a, a payment in the overseas currency, you pick the method that has a lower cost. So in this case, if you compare the forward contract as that amount and the money market as this amount and the lead as that amount, in this case, the forward contract should be used because it has a lower payment, which is two million one hundred and sixty-eight thousand six hundred and nine pounds. So, for today we can end here. I also want to remind you again: make sure ask questions where you don't seem to understand in the chat box. All the questions will be attended to depending on the availability of time. If your question is not attended to, it's not deliberate. It is because of limitation in terms of time. Also, I'm going to remind you again to make comments about the quality of this video, whether the video has been helpful, all the comments will be taken very, very seriously and we we'll use them to improve the delivery of our lectures on this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for listening and also watching this video. And we want to thank you again for the support that you've been giving us. We say thank you very much and God bless you.